All right, so Andre, here's how I follow up with the leads, nurture them, and get these guys booked in, or have the gym owner, when I was working with the gym agency, uh, book them in on their calendar, okay? And I'll show you two different ways, depending on what they want to do. I'm going to show you both ways, because you're, you'll are you be able to tailor. If someone says, hey, I want to do this, you'll be like, okay, we can do that. Or if they want to say the opposite, and you'll be like, okay, we can do that too. It works better for you. And so you're tailoring the solution, and makes them easier to close, because you they feel like you're customizing everything. So the reason why I'm showing you ads manager is just, well, one, for the sake of showing you what's been currently working or what worked very well for me in terms of creatives, in terms of copy, right? When I was yep. in the gym agency. And yeah, lead form. I don't know why it's not popping up, but essentially I just had the offer just pop out like this. If you go, if you're in like MedSpot, obviously it'll be different, but you know, take it as you may. And yep. so when someone becomes a lead, what I instantly do is I have a follow-up sequence that automatically hits them up, right? The whole point of using high levels for that. So within right. the first 30 seconds, I have a message saying, hey there, this is the owner's name from owner business. Is this lead's name, right? Don Lin Her. She say hi, yes. Now, if she didn't respond, we would have follow-up messages so that we can get her to respond in the first place. However, she did. So what happens here in this example is now we diffuse her and kind of let her know rather than be like, who the heck is this? We're like, awesome. You know, we just saw that you were interested in our free 10-day pass with me, kind of explaining why we're hitting them up. And then we go straight into qualifying them or in initially asking why they wanted to become a lead, why they're looking to become a potential client. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So these are all automated questions. Again, these last two happened because she replied with positive intent and essentially we asked her what her current fitness goals are and you know she dropped it and in the fitness industry it can become very sensitive i want to lose 40 yeah. 50 pounds you know it's really emotional right stuff yeah. like that and so what i learned over time was to have my owners and i tell them and train them and expect them to go in here once they drop their fitness goals you go into the go high level app lead connector whatever and the litza perez right the owner of dnc goes in here and nurtures them with a personalized message saying 13 is perfect right the daughter is 13 years old and you know we have a client who brings their 11 year old son to work out right together they motivate one another we definitely can help both conquer your goals and modify what is needed for your daughter so she's completely comfortable that is a personalized message thus you get this response oh that's great this may be perfect for the two of us and they haven't even met each other yet they haven't even tried it out yet they just feel like someone cares about them because at the end of the day they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and so now it's just a really simple right you can continue asking the questions or whatever niche you are you can continue asking them then we just book them in notice how i have her dropping the schedule manually because that just makes it easier for them to just pick out a time right you don't have to give like the whole dates you can give like next two classes or whatever if you're in the gym agency and then yeah. addresses right and so yeah i mean the other reason why i want to show you this is like look at this they're texting like their best friends and they haven't even like look at that yeah right yeah she had like check-ins and appointment reminders and she actually signed up on the first day without needing the actual 10-day appointment 10-day class pass but that's an example of one of them any questions about the sequence andre yeah so the first part the automations that's the all, all the nurturing you guys do in yeah. the beginning of the actual conversation uh, i saw there there was a little bit of nurturing at the end am i wrong a little bit of nurturing yeah yeah that's and but that's manual however it's manually by the um owner right all right yeah no the thing is because I think for me, it's, it will actually be easier because they don't have to give me like diet targets and they want to lose weight and stuff. Basically, I let's say for example, uh, for this uh, client in particular, he offers like free first class to try it and to yeah. see how it is if you actually like it. Like I, I think I just have to open the conversation with them, see how things things are and actually just book them on an own actual calendar to their class or something like that. Like what, what do you think? Yeah, no, part of nurturing, you gotta report is asking high quality questions. When you're asking high quality questions like what are your current fitness goals how long has this been an issue why are you looking for personal training instead of crossfit right maybe not too direct like that but you get my point is because you're dragging out doubts you're dragging out desires and pain that's what literally the litza in our system helps when we ask what are your current fitness goals have you done this before and what piqued your interest just out of curiosity and this allows a great conversation when they do step in it's like hey yeah i saw that you were interested in this because you know you mentioned you were once doing this in high school and you found it fun but life got in the way and now you want to get back you know let's let's that you let's definitely get you back on speed man i'll, I'll be your partner right it, it just because it's so personalized right it's not a it's not like yeah. oh great we can help you with your fitness goals
goals. Like, no. Practically, though, let me just show you like what it looks like, right? This is the um, first message, second message, like just making sure you have the right number. Again, if they do reply, then it's easy right there. Fourth reply, right? These are spaced out over like, this one's like 17 minutes, I believe. This one's like the next day. This one is almost an hour until they reply back. Yes. And then when they do reply back, it's just that um, fitness goals. Awesome. I saw that you're interested in this. What are your current fitness goals or what are you looking to do? Now, the other one I'm doing for another guy, his name is Angel Lorenzo. He's killing it. He actually went from like 40 class member, group class members, bootcamp members to like 160 with us in three months. It was fire. Because that that's the thing. I'm not quite sure where, where I should actually stop the nurturing process by myself and actually tell the dojo owner or the instructor to up on the call or not on the call on the conversation. Yeah. I mean, right when you ask that question, hey, how can I help you with, um, how can we help you? What, um, what are you currently looking for and what's your fitness goals that you're looking to achieve? Yeah, I'm looking to lose 50 pounds. Then that's where a human comes in because right. we're not going to have an automated message right now i mean you can probably find chat gbt and say like yeah. something personalized i mean there's probably something where you can do with that but let's see here see he he's doing this still to this day he and i don't have to tell him he's actually doing it himself he's like hello what are your goals it's like to lose 70 pounds and guess what this is him this is all him it's personalized and the thing is in especially in the gym industry they want it personalized these gym owners and coaches many of them do because they need to know more about who's walking in they need to know who they're going to be training they need to make sure that they're qualified they need to make sure that they actually are the right trainer for them right if you're a ifbb pro if i said that right you know bodybuilder and someone's looking for freaking ballet classes shoot that's not a qualified client but essentially what what we also did was like whenever they replied like yes this is me awesome i saw that you're interested in this we have an automated message andre where it says i'm finishing up a group class right now i'll give you a quick call in a bit to learn more about your fitness goals and see if we're the if we can help you right and then mm. when he has time he just gives a quick call yeah i think that that should work yeah no i'm asking all of this because right now i'm just by myself like i don't have any vas or anything yeah. like that so you i'll have to VA. yeah I'll, ha I'll have to do the nurturing myself that's why i'm asking you should have the gym owner do it all right so do you actually suggest just to plug and play the automations and from the automations to make them take care of the comp most definitely all right okay. you're an agency owner you're not a va yeah <laughs> right and so yeah, yeah here's how here's let me help you out so when uh when i how here's how i explain it um on the demo call so I'll, so when I show them the system, right, you know, the ads, good, everything great. I show them how we use our AI software, literally go high level, in other words, um, to follow up. I show them the process, right? They become a lead. We help start the conversation, get them replying back. Because again, that is the biggest bottleneck. Them not replying back after showing interest and they lose interest. We help start jolt that conversation. And then we go ahead and let you vet them through the process and make sure that they're a good fit manually. And I'll show you how you do that. Essentially, you're giving them a follow up message. If they're qualified and they vet through the process, you you go ahead and book them in. It's super seamless and easy. They meet with you that day or the next day for a class and they become a client once they see how well you can help them. Here's a quick example. Literally the example I showed you uh, just five minutes ago, Andre, right? Yeah, yeah. I tell them, hey, that's when you come in, right? I show them this. These are all automated messages. Once they drop their fitness goals, for example, that's where you come in or your trainers come in or someone on your team come in so that you can personalize the message. And I literally tell them verbatim and they love it when I say this. They're like, because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care about their fitness goals. And so when you're able to say what the Litsa said here, was like, yeah, we'll make sure your daughter feels comfortable. We'll make sure that you guys have a modified plan together. You're gonna get these responses day and night. Oh, that's great. This may be perfect for the two of, two of us. And so I'm like, this is the best solution. If they logistically cannot because they feel like they just cannot do that as an owner, I'm like, no worries. Again, these are text messages, right? So you can respond whenever you can. That's why we start the conversation for you. And if you don't, if you can't get back to them within an hour, you know, just let them know like, hey, I've been uh, sorry, I'm busy right now with another client. I'll get back to you in an hour. They'll be like, no worries. I totally get it. You're doing your job shows that you're busy and you're doing your stuff. And then I just show them this, like, why is this so important, right? And I do set the expectation here, Andre, right? You have to follow up with your leads to book them in. Speed to lead is key. And we'll hold you accountable and support you, though, with the follow-up process, right? I explained this is literally the bottleneck. Like, you cannot get more than one to three sales if you cannot follow up with these guys and you're doing it yourself. We start the conversations. We help you, literally. We're like, I, I if, if I'm talking to a bro like you, Andre, uh, another personal trainer, I'm like, I'm your wingman. I'm going to start the conversation <laughs> with you for the person you want to go out with the yeah. client and then they're like i'm starting the conversation but you got to carry it because you're the personal trainer and you know how you can sell yourself and they're like holy shit.
You're right. Like most definitely. Yeah, that's right. No, because until now I framed my actual system and my actual offer in the demos, like uh, mostly done for you. I just told them like they will have to interfere in the conversation if they ask questions about pricing, about the calendar, how everything looks. But uh, I framed it like it's more of a dime f done for you. Then so it's actually a done with you, not not for you, right? What I'm doing? Yeah. No, this is done for you. Ads are done for you. The systems built done for you. The process is done for you. I mean, right. it's not done with you. Done with you is like here. Here are the ads that are currently working. Go build it. Okay. I'm building the Lego set for these guys. They just have to do one stupid part, which is actually talking to who that like a potential client. Can you? I, I ask them. Can you do that, Andre? And they're like, <laughs> talk to a client, a, a person who's going to pay me. I'm like, yeah, can you do that? A lot of people say no, <laughs> believe it or not. They're like, why? Yeah. Like, I don't know. You tell me. You're one of them. It's like, no, I'm not. I'll definitely talk to these guys. All right. Now, how fast can you talk to them? It's like, oh, yeah, I'll get back to these guys. I'm like, OK, if you don't, I'm going I'm to hold you accountable to it because that's where speed to lead comes in. It's not done with you, man. It's done with you again. It's like let it's me... like coaching, basically. Yeah. Joe Kaplan's done with you. Okay. Yeah. And also, I want to ask you, do you know any other lead scraper than D7? Because I've canceled my D7. The quality of the leads weren't the best, to be honest, like no from what I'm from what I know in my niche, there are between 40 to 50K businesses and uh, I've got only like 17K from D7, okay. like cleaned and all that. Oh, well, hey, that's still more than enough, just FYI. I've used yeah. martial arts for myself and it was just more than enough for me. But no, I get what you're saying. I mean, use Jared McNally with GoAspenDigital.com. He gives good quality lists too. The other one's Yellow Pages and there's many more that you can easily find. One of them, if you go on to the replays with Christian Etchu about his recent email masterclass, he has a slide regarding all the different softwares or sites that you can use to scrape people. Like I think Apollo is one of them, but people say that's iffy. Lead Scraper, ninja or something so there's a lot but yeah well, did you find that helpful regarding yeah, yeah. how i nurture yeah totally 